Good morning, everyone. Today I have a pretty exciting vlog. I am going to go to the animal shelter today. If you didn't know, my family tries and volunteers at this kind of local it's a little bit far but this animal shelter we try to get out there as often as we can but me and my mom haven't been able to plan a day where we're both able to go so today is the day but first i do have work this morning um i have an early morning shift and that's why we're still able to go to the shelter i work from 8 a.m to 12 but today is an exciting day at work because i have a Tarte and Mario Badescu training and I love cluster trainings. They're just so fun I get to learn more about um, brands and product releases and just pre-existing products I love just knowledge and getting knowledge on makeup. It's just all a part of the passion. So yeah, I'm about to get ready. Oh, and one thing that I didn't mention before is that this specific shelter is the shelter that I actually adopted Wilma from when she was like a puppy puppy like she only weighed two pounds and i was able to scoop her up from the animal shelter and she's just been my baby ever since i just got off of work my first two hours was the training like i said earlier with tart and maria badescu and then um i was just on register for the last two hours but i have to show you guys the gratis that i got from these two trainings Oh my god, it's probably the best gratis that we've gotten from a training before. So first we got the Mario Badescu, the brand new super peptide serum, which I was so not expecting. We also got a full size of the Mario Badescu facial spray, the aloe one. I don't have the aloe one, I only have the rose one, but that was super generous. And then we also got a full size of the glycolic foaming cleanser. And then from our tart training, we got um the stay spray and then we also got a man eater mascara which is super nice i don't think i've ever tried this mascara actually and then we got the brand new glow wand seriously i have been like thinking about buying this and the fact that i just got it for free is amazing like i'm just obsessed with my job okay me and my mom just got to the shelter i did change i changed into something a little bit more comfortable my mom also made um really cute little valentine's day baggies for the dogs any like adopters that are coming in today can take one home with them here's my mom hi um yeah i'm really excited to get in there about to get up and leave this little baby wants me to sit back down hi baby okay oh my gosh you're so cute i'm gonna have to go play with the other puppies i'm gonna have to go play with the other puppies little baby okay it's about to get pretty loud in here but these are mainly where they keep like the adult puppies Oh 
So we decided to take sweet Tina girl out. She is really sweet, but she, she's like a little scared. And sometimes that just happens, you know, like dogs are put in areas where like they're not used to and it's really scary for them. Oh my God, Tina is okay. It's really important that these dogs find a nice sweet home. Like she deserves to be a couch potato. So we're outside right now um, in their little playing area. And I mean, the people who work here do like an amazing job taking care of all of these dogs, but it's really like time consuming to give each dog the time of day to like get this kind of interaction with people and get them out and socializing them um, and just giving them like free time you know like the dogs a lot of times have to like pee or poop in their little kennels because there's not time to like walk all of them outside so like it's really nice for the dogs to be able to get outside and poop and pee outside um, instead of doing it like right where they're sleeping. We do have the outside areas that they all get into every day when they're Kate when their um, oh yeah runs are being cleaned. Right, but they're they look like they're probably about maybe ten by twenty feet, which is nice. But this enclosed area is probably um, more like fifty yards by fifty yards. And I'm looking in Tina's pooping right now. And yeah. honestly, that probably feels so good to get to poop outside and not have to do it in your bed. It's also really nice for the dogs to be able to interact with humans and get comfortable because a lot of times they don't get that experience. Um, a lot of times they're not like very socialized so when a, an adopter comes and they see that maybe a dog's not as friendly just from being not social, um, it makes their chances of being adopted a little bit lower. Oh my, that didn't take long. <gasps> Look at her little face. Okay. <laughs> she is so cute. That didn't take long at all for you to come looking for some loving, huh? Get your eye boogies out. Get your eye boogies out. Yes, you're pretty girl. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys Tina's work in case you were possibly interested in Tina. Okay, this is Julie. We're about to take Julie out and Julie is excited. Are you liking the cats, Julie? Yeah, Julie, look at her tail. You do like in the cat. Baby looks like you. Oh my it God, sure how does cute. Look like her. So we've decided that Julie, like if you can see her coat is a little dirty, a little bit dusty. So Julie's gonna get some play time right now and then we're gonna bring her back inside and give her a bath. And then she's gonna be so clean. Also, um, dogs that get baths, they're usually a lot more adoptable because adopters will come in and see that the dog is already clean and super cute and fresh. And they feel nice. And, yep, and they feel nice. So, Nails are very long, so we're gonna give them oh, a yeah. little trim. <gasps> oh my goodness, Julie. Look at her, look at her claws in my pants. She is just wanting to hug me. You want the cookie, Jewel? Julie is extra, extra cute. Julie is really small and really cute, and she's full grown too, so she would like be the perfect size for someone. She's really not that big, she's super little. And you're two years old, so you're done growing. You're done growing. Oh, and you're good for getting your nails cut. Yeah, good, Julie good is an job. angel, yeah, and she she's fun too. She's a good time. Good. Look how cute she is. She was good. You want another cookie? She's a nice girl, Julie. So we're about to give Julie a bath, but the room right behind me is actually the very first room that I ever saw Wilma in for the very first time. This is their quarantine room. Wilma was quarantined when we when she first came to the shelter, but nothing was wrong with her. She was just so small. So they put her in the quarantine room because she was two pounds, like, and naked. Like, she was literally so small. Oh my gosh, what a cute little baby. So Julie is really, really good for a bath. You can tell she's comfortable with us too because her oh. tail isn't tucked up underneath of her just... and she's, yeah, she's shedding a lot. So this is gonna be really good for her. She's gonna feel really good after this bath. Honestly, I think it's safe to say Julie had a home at one point because she likes playing with toys. 
Oh. She's super cuddly. She takes treats nicely and she's not freaked out about having a bath. Are you getting dried off, girl? Are you getting dried off? Oh my goodness, you are just a cutie. You were just a cute. I just wanted to show you guys this sweet mom dog and look at all of her babies. How many do you think, mom, how many babies do you think that this mom dog has? Oh. Oh my goodness. It's double digits there's for sure. That. Oh, there's another. Oh my no. god, there's so many little babies. Oh look there are how 12. precious. There are a dozen babies. You have you have a dozen babies, mama? OMG, look at that baby on its back. You got so many puppies, girl. You are so busy. That oh my goodness, day, you are like unreal. Day. You are unreal, day, little day, baby. You day. are leaving today. Of course you've got a foster home. Of course you got a foster home. I'm gonna take Coda out, and this is Coda's chart. Um, she's about four years old. Terrier Pitbull mix, 48 pounds. It's okay. You're a sweet girl. Do you want this one too? <gasps> Hi. <gasps> that was special. That was special. You know how to sit. 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 Goodest girl, good girl. So you do know how to do something. Paw, you don't know how to do paw, that's okay. You don't have to know how to do paw, it's not a big deal. Hey girly, you want another? I'll just give you cookies all day, I guess. So we just left the animal shelter. I think today was a pretty good day. Most of the dogs that we took out today were a little skittish. Julie was the highlight for today, for sure. What a gem. Hopefully she gets adopted um, to like a really, really good home. It is hard in this area because a lot of times driving through this area, you'll see a lot of dogs chained up outside. and. I know that this is a touchy subject for a lot of people. It's a little controversial, but in my opinion, I really believe that a dog needs to be a part of your family. Like if you are going to adopt a dog, bring a dog into your life, you need to treat it like family. And I just believe, I just believe that all, I, some people are against dogs sleeping in beds, but all of our dogs sleep in our freaking beds. Like. They are, they are, they're a part of our family. Hopefully these dogs all can get good homes and be someone's lap baby and couch potato because these dogs all deserve it. I wanted to talk about a couple things though since we did just leave the animal shelter. I'm hoping that this video kind of inspires you guys to get out there and volunteer your time and give your time to your local animal shelter because these dogs really, really need the help. Another thing I wanted to touch on is I hear all too often when I tell people that I am like volunteering at an animal shelter, I hear all too often uh, the response somewhere along the lines of, Oh, I just could never do that. I would just I would just be so upset. I would just be crying the whole time. And I get it. I really do. Sometimes these stories are just so sad, but you know, it what's even more sad is that you are taking your sadness and it's hindering you from not getting out there and helping them um, because that's what they need the most they need love and they need someone to get out there and help them and bring awareness to adoptions and bring awareness to spay and neuter so yeah I don't know I just don't think that that's an appropriate excuse because I just don't think that your emotions should get in the way of you possibly changing the lives of many dogs so so we live in kind of like the area of Charlotte North Carolina if you are within like a day's drive of us and there's a puppy from the vlog that you saw and you are interested like seriously interested 
we 100% would um, meet you. We would we would absolutely meet you to let you adopt adopt this dog. So if there's a puppy or a dog in this vlog that you just like have a good feeling about, you just you just felt like it would be a good a good addition to your home. DM me on my Instagram and we will arrange something to meet in the middle and yeah, because we actually just did that with a cat that we were fostering from the shelter. Um, we met a couple in Jacksonville because it was the exact halfway point from where they lived in South Florida and it was actually a great arrangement and the cat's doing amazing. Yeah. So we 100% will meet you halfway if you are within a day's trip, but I am going to end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of this kind of video in the comments down below. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so, and hopefully I see you next time. Wait, here's my thing I wanna say. Okay. Is that this animal shelter has a never ending stream of animals being dropped off and picked up. There are easily 40 tiny puppies there right now in February, it's not even puppy season. So if you have a pet that is not spayed or neutered, please consider them getting spayed or neutered. Every single county across this country and probably throughout the world has a program that has affordable spay and neuter. There's really no excuse for it. She said it, no excuse.